so people have asked about starting projects and uh, kind of getting ideas. And so one of the ways that I do it is I prototype a bunch. I prototype a whole ton and that, that kind of hit me this weekend. So I don't understand people when they say they want to make games with their own engine. God bless you, but you, you, and I know these people who do this, like you have to dedicate that that is the game, that whatever's in your head, that moment you start is what you're going to ship because you have to do so much work just to do fundamental things that I can do for free. So I use Unreal 5 right now and I'm just throwing everything at the wall. I'm downloading third person packs. I'm doing art packs, doing animation, doing making my own blend spaces, testing different things. What does it look like linear? What is this checkpoint and save system? Like just everything, but I just can do it really quickly and move really quickly and throw a bunch of stuff out. So there's probably 15 projects that I started, right? And with that, uh, I'm a big fan of, you start something with an idea and then you go, okay, is there more than one of this? Like when we were doing, for the Anacrusis, we were doing Mana Compilers and we had perks. Do we have more than 10 perks? Because if you have more than 10, you need to stop thinking about it, you'll think about more of them. Um, and like this, this bit me in the butt uh, one time. So for Love for Dead 2, we are thinking, well, the director will have all these other controls and we'll do all this other stuff. And originally came up with weather. Um, because I'd been playing a bunch of um, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare, the first one. And you remember that one multiplayer map that's just super rainy and it just feels oppressive. It's just raining so much. And I just really like that. Uh, Ito then took that and, and Tard Rain is just like this beautiful idea of like it being one map on the way there and one another map on the way back. But it's the same map and you just see it differently in the water and all that. Like that, you know, again, why you, why you work with smart people. Uh, but like, I'm like, oh, we'll think of a bunch of others. I'll, I can stop thinking about this. No, you got to think of more than one. You got to think of more than one because otherwise you, like, you get fixated because you're anchored to that one and you're like, oh my God, well, what else could we do with the weather? The weather, my God, the world. So then then you're only thinking like in world event things versus other things that it could do, like give you health. Uh, and so that is a problem you always have to do. So I like to prototype really quickly and I'm like, do I just have a bunch of ideas in this space or am I out of spaces? Am I out of ideas? So, okay, so we're doing that. We're doing that. And I'm just throwing ideas at the wall. And again, it's like marketplace free assets or hey, 10 bucks and I can make a whole city. Sure, I'll do it. Uh, who cares what it runs perf wise? Uh, I'll say this, it's amazing how well it runs perf wise. All right, but so I'm just throwing stuff at the wall. And then uh, we got a problem is this weekend, I'm like, oh man, you know what? I had this idea, I like, I like, so I have like two big thoughts now. I've kind of whittled it down to of things that would be next, right? And um, both single player, because I've been thinking that, and one kind of more, not open world, and not crazy, but more loose and one more kind of like old school. And for the old school one, I was, you know, really kind of like thinking about like, because I miss the, I miss the, and when you do like a multiplayer game that anyone can jump in at any time, like the design is just different. How you think about design, how you introduce things to people is just different. And it's messier because you're just going to, they're going to buy into it, right? So here, though, I want to do more traditional, like, hey, you get this little taste of it, you get this mix of it, you get this more mix of it, and then we combine some stuff, right? Really classic, classic design stuff. And I'm like, oh, Sunday, I got this idea. I, yeah, 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 yeah. It'll be really simple. I can just do this. And so I'm listening to some baseball, listening to the Guardians. Uh, actually, they're on, they're on TV right now. Uh, but uh, so I just go to save something, and the save fails. And I'm like, oh, that's strange. Computer acts weird. Everything crashes. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, you back your stuff up. Okay, when you're prototyping like this, you're throwing just gigs and gigs and gigs every day in the projects that you just trash. You don't care. Nothing that this is clean. But now, out of this, there's two ideas that are rising, and I'm talking to Dan, and we're like, hey, we should uh, should help me uh, set up these in Perforce. Like, these are ready to be in Perforce. Because, like, our game, our game's in Perforce, right? Though I did have some unchecked in stuff for bug fixes, too, but yeah, that's another thing. Okay, so, but it, the, the drive. So, okay. But that's just weird. And so then I go to start the computer and it's just taking oh, forever to, to, to load and then it's fixing the D drive. Well, that's weird. Uh, finally loads up, but it's a sluggish, it's super slow. Like it's taking forever to do anything. Uh, do this like five times, try to go reinstall Windows, that doesn't work. Like, I don't know what's going on. Um, and then all of a sudden it becomes clear is the D drive is bad and it's dragging down the whole system. Well, the D drive is where all these projects are. It's also where Perforce is, but here, Perforce, I'm going to install this morning and I'm going to download 
to the cloud, right? Or from the cloud and it's all gonna be fine, right? So traditionally we do some things where we back it up in kind of like what we call cold storage, where it's like offline every so often we just put a dump there, it's in a place, it's in a different place. And then we have Perforce, which is our source control. And that is like versioning, right? So you can, you can download this file, all 15 versions of it if we've made changes, right? Um, and so we have that in a cloud provider. I guess that's not, it's bare metal. Um, so that's fine though, right? Because they they back it up and everything and we're, we're good there, we're good there. And then we, again, we still have it local and I still have it local on my machine. So it's like three different places, it's fine. But these prototypes are all just so messy that we're not ready to move there yet. So this is like the worst time that this hit. Because this is just like Monday morning kind of right and i'm like starting from zero but i know how to do the things that we want to do in this but we did some obscure things that i just need to piece together now i take notes because i'm not smart and i also anything that i've used to influence it i save and i say use this i use this right um so i'll be able to rebuild it um this is gonna take some time and part of me is like well hey i wanted to redo some of this anyways because i'm smarter than i was before um yeah but still oh, man so here's a weird thing the game Slay the Spire has taught me something as a person on how to handle these kind of situations. Because I will absentmindedly play Slay the Spire in the background a lot. And every so often I pick the wrong card or I choose the wrong perk or whatever. Just like it goes, it goes sideways, right? I don't restart the game. I'm just like, just pretend it just started this way. And this was the only choice you had and this is what you got. And you just have to move on from here. And it's kind of made me zen about that. And so it makes me a little zen about this. Like, okay. All right, I know what to do. I know what I want to do. I'll probably learn things along the way. But there's something about that spark and that excitement because for me, I always in parallel have game design, world design, character and story all tied together. So I'm always writing lines as well as I'm designing. Like it all flows together. And so there was a bunch of excitement I had about this. This is when I kind of knew like, oh, one of these two are the right choice. And I don't know how to talk about that right yet until I share, because it's always hard for people to understand exactly what I mean. And then it becomes this weird thing of expectations and mismatch. And like, how early do you share? How early do you get people to play? I had somebody play already one of the prototypes just to be like, hey, is this, how crazy is this? So I don't know. I don't know about that, but I know this morning I'm going to do the one, which is kind of a good thing of like, you know, uh, who's your favorite kid? Uh, how do you tell? Well, you set the house on fire and who do you go rescue? Ah, so what's the first one I'm rebuilding? So I, I know the first one I'm rebuilding. So I guess that that gives me a little insight because that is that brain, part of your brain where you don't have a thought about it. You just start doing it and you realize, oh, I'm doing this one first, I guess. Why? Why? And you try to be reflective about it and understand. But, Either way, that is kind of where I am this Monday morning. I have got a bunch of drives I've bought. The C drive's fine. Everything else is fine. I don't know, but I got a couple. Installed them. They're good to go. I'm trying to see if I can restore the other one just to save me some time. But really, like, I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on it because it's, it's not that much work. But yet, good thing is, I really do have so much stuff just in the cloud or, you know, all the other works in Perforce. So I didn't do a check-in in Perforce that had some of the bug fixes for some of the map stuff because I wanted to fix that. I just didn't submit it because we're still working with Epic on all that stuff and I just didn't want to get in the flow or build of that. So I also haven't eaten lunch yet and it's three o'clock. I should probably do that. But I had to go to, actually went to Best Buy and got these. Good for Best Buy. Man, you order online. It tells you which store actually has the thing in stock near you. And you just go pick them up. It's actually cheaper than Amazon. Amazon. Especially on Amazon. Like, everything was a scam. That was weird. Uh, but yeah. So, prototype. Try a bunch of stuff. Make sure you have enough versions of that thing that will work. Right? That you have more than one. And then you learn and you start implementing and you start like no art, just testing in weird goofy boxes and cubes and you go from there. That's where I am at least. We'll see. <laughs> As always, we'll see. Ah, uh, Cyan, with this, I'm playing the game of what was on my D drive. Ends up the editing tools. It's going to take me a few more minutes. <laughs>